Well, you know when you turn on the telly and you catch a rerun of The Nanny, it just feels like a nice, warm, old hug, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't sure it? does. Yeah. Can you believe it's been 28 years, 28 years since the show first landed on our screens, but even after all that time, it is as entertaining and heartwarming episodes and a whole lot of hairspray. In the summer of 1993, the world was introduced to a nanny named Fran. Hi, I'm Fran Fine. Well, do come in. Oh boy, do you have gorgeous tchotchkes. We'd never seen anything quite like it on our TVs. A razor sharp tongue, physical presence and comedic timing made star Fran Drescher a household name. Shave him for surgery. Well, where do you want me to shave him? Oh. <laughs> The show gave us countless fashion moments and a string of A-list guests. But you can't talk about the series without making note of that iconic voice. I already had it on. It flattens out my... Oh! Mr. Sheffield! Why didn't you say anything? Away from the screen, Fran Drescher has spent over two decades speaking out against cancer. After surviving the disease herself, she created the organisation Cancer Schmancer, shining a spotlight on prevention and early detection. Now, as the megastar celebrates 21 years cancer-free, Drescher's preparing for Fran Jam, a massive concert fundraiser. The Flasher Girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran. Oh, we love it. Fran Drescher joins us live from Malibu this morning. Hi, Fran. Hi, how are you guys? Hi. Happy 14th anniversary. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We've made so many memories, but the memories must come flooding back for you each time you, you see yourself in all those nanny scenes. Do that were good. I know. I, I've been doing press all day and there's been this one fly that keeps trying to <laughs> engage me. <laughs> And yet I won't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the show has surged in popularity again in the last year. It just keeps going round and round. We can't get enough of it. Why do you think fans come back to the nanny time and time again? You know, I feel so blessed and grateful for the fans. I think that a lot of the kids that were watching it when they were growing up now are older and appreciating it on a whole different level. There were jokes that they didn't get before. They also are enjoying... Uh, the costumes and how gorgeous they are and trying to um, fashion themselves off of the style of the show. So it's just been something that generationally seems to be passing down as the uh, children got older and now they're having children of their own. And it's quite a fascinating journey. I'm actually writing right now the Broadway musical version of The Nanny and we're very excited about that. And, you know, it's just, it's a great, beautiful thing that I'm extremely proud of because she was a very positive and fun-loving character that was visually fun to watch. And I'm just glad and grateful that it remains the success that it is around the world yeah. and has endured, has endured the test of time. I can really see how it would work, you know, as a play. The gang got back together last year for an online table read. Is that what sparked something in you? Well, we were already working on the Broadway musical, but I do think that that ignited because so many people around the world watched the Nanny Table Read, which was our gift as a cast to the uh, people around the world that were frightened and in lockdown from the pandemic to have something to look forward to in their homes. So, uh, but that really got such uh, a wide reception all over the world that I think that it ignited interest from Sony, I'm sorry, there's a helicopter here, <laughs> um, to uh, go out there and see what streaming networks uh, were interested in buying it now that they had, uh, uh, you know, kind of numbers to show the enthusiasm of the millennial fandom. Mm. And so that was when over here, HBO Max picked it up and uh, 
the fans are just thrilled because one of the most asked questions was, uh, where can I find it to stream? Yeah. And, you know, at a certain age, that's the way you watch television. So mm -hmm. You're I'm very grateful that it's streaming now in different platforms all over the world. Yeah. You are going to have to play you in the musical, clearly, because there's no one in the world who can do that voice. No one. <laughs> well, thank you for that. But I can't sing, so you really don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that a lot on the show. I hear that a lot. Uh, we we will find the next Barbara Streisand, yes. and she will make it her own, and uh, she'll make up her own funny voice and her own funny laugh. And uh, we think that it'll stand on its own two feet. The lyrics written by Rachel Bloom are so clever, so funny, and so capture the voice of the series. And uh, I think that it's just going to be a spectacular uh, theatrical experience, bigger and uh, just uh, much larger than the series was, even though the series seemed to be a musical without the music. This is <laughs> yeah. just what you can accomplish on stage we couldn't do on the small screen. Mm. We saw you revisit one of your old looks from the show recently. Uh, you've spoken about the costumes. How much input did Fran Drescher have on creating the look for Fran Fine? Yes, myself and Peter Jacobson, who were the co-creators and executive producers, we had a lot to discuss with Brenda Cooper, who was the a uh, costume designer that we handpicked. And uh, together we kind of figured out the look of the show. We knew that we wanted the character to put on a fashion show every week. In fact, Peter was the one that insisted on the circular staircase so that I could do a fashion show in every episode <laughs> and make an entrance. And, uh, it was just, you know, we, we wanted the character to look spectacular and wear couture clothes, but uh, she shopped at a discount store, so that's how we justified it, and um, where the labels were cut out. And I think that television is, uh, re is uh, you know, requires eye candy, so uh, it's a visual medium, and I think that costumes play a mm. an exquisite part of that. And even when we were doing the show, I used to say all the time that the clothes are as big a star as the star mm. uh, herself. So um, it's just been remarkable how uh, the clothes have taken on its own momentum and it's yeah. showing up on social media in all ways from you know, Brenda Cooper style to what Fran wore to uh, the nanny exhibit yeah, to yeah. Nanny Hurt. And it's just all over social media, which is really incredible because we didn't even have social media when we were doing uh, the nanny. And I think that that was Brenda's genius to put me in that original Moschino vest that she had in yeah. her collection um, from the nanny to do a TikTok shoot uh, to promote HBO Max. Yeah. So she said, you know, I, I want to suggest Fran Fine, but bring her into the moment and make yeah. it more modern. Oh, and of course, that just blew up. Yeah, it's so it's so wonderful. And and Kylie's insisting on a, on a, on a circular staircase coming to the studio now every day. <laughs> Your online concert, this is great. Fran Jam, some huge names uh, appearing. Cindy Lauper, even our very own Tina Arena. Tell us all about it. Yes, it's really um, exciting. Every year we do an annual music festival in support of Cancer Schmanza. It's free to the public around the world. You can find it at cancerschmanza.org, Fran Drescher Facebook Live, Cancer Schmanza Facebook Live, and the Nanny YouTube channel. And it's going to start Sunday evening here in the States, but it will run for at least uh four to uh five weeks so if you are unable to or the timing doesn't work out as it probably wouldn't in your neck of the woods you can tune in at any time and watch it and if you can't see it on any of those social media channels you can always find it at cancerschmanza.org and we welcome you it's extremely uplifting and beautiful and we have great people that are supporting us and if you have a good time then please make a donation because that helps us throughout the year 
to present to you information and interviews that help you to become a medical consumer, to get healthier, and to uh, make informed decisions yeah. when the time comes that, well, that you need to. Congratulations on all the work that right. you're doing in that cancer fundraising space. It's amazing. It's been such a delight to catch up with you today. Uh, Fran, lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I, I appreciate all of your support. And God bless and good health to all of your viewers. And happy 14th. Oh, thank you. What a treat for us to have you here on our 14th birthday. Thanks, Lovely Fran. to talk to you, Fran. Uh, we're going to put all the details on how you can tune in and watch Fran Jam. It's going to be fantastic. All the details will be on our website.